Hi friends, I'm going to be teaching you about touch money. What touch money is going to help you do is really learn how to count quicker with your money. Okay? Alright, so in your uh, math bag you will have uh, a bag of pretend coins. They look really real. So this is a penny. It's copper or brown. This smaller one is a dime. Focus in. That's a dime, and that's the back side of the dime. And you can see it's smaller than the penny. Okay. This is a nickel. That's the back side of the nickel. And this is a, looks like a quarter, and then this is the back side of the quarter, okay? So you can see the different sizes of each coin, okay? So the dime is the smallest, and then there's a nickel and a quarter. And these are, I'm just talking about size, not how much they're worth. Now this is where it gets confusing because actually the dime is worth 10 cents and the nickel is worth 5 cents. And so size in this way does not really matter of how much it's worth. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate what touch money is. Okay, so I know that these pictures don't look like the coins I just showed you, but um, just know that this is a penny, which looks like, whoops, which looks like this. That's a penny. Okay, how we do this with touch, with using your finger, is we just say one. So this is worth one cent. Okay, or another way to write it is one cent. So one. Okay, then the nickel looks like this. And this, one, when we touch it, for all math, we're going to count by five because money is counted by fives. So you would just touch it once and, and say five. So you would write it by saying five cents or you could write it by saying five cents because there, this would be a dollar but we're having a zero in front of that. So five cents or five cents and that's how you would write it. Okay, that's a nickel. All right, then we have the dime, which looks like this, okay? And again, we're counting by fives, so five, and you have to, um, let's see, I think I'm gonna make that into a 10 so you can understand better. Okay, so each time we touch, we're gonna count five, 10. So this is 10 cents, or you can write it like this, 10 cents, okay? All right, now for the quarter, which looks like this, you would start it by saying 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's how you would count a quarter. And how we write that is by saying 25 cents or 25 cents. That's how you would write it. Okay, so whenever you get a bunch of coins together, like our coins right here, what we would do is put them in order so that you can see which one, what, what they are, okay? And it's much easier if you start counting with the um, biggest coin first, okay? So let's start with the quarter. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
35, 40, 41. Okay? So right here we have 41 cents. Okay? I'll do it one more time. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41. Okay? It's that simple. And the more you practice it, the better you'll get, the quicker you get. Okay? All right, kiss your brains.